Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you how you can create a toggleable sidebar and in this particular case how to create a toggleable sidebar that contains some logging information or that you can use to log things in your application. So to do this we have our simple application here that has literally nothing and for the sidebar we will use a container. So we import the from containers import container. Now we're going to create a sidebar class and for now we won't do anything there and in our application when we compose the widgets what we want to do is and I need this we want to yield the sidebar now by default the sidebar will be hidden so that's hidden and so we need some CSS to say hey the sidebar is hidden now you would probably in your proper application, you would have this CSS in a separate file, but for now I'm doing it here so you can see everything all at once. This is just some basic styling, let's say it has a width of 30, the height is 100% and it's going to be docked on the left of your application. And then if the sidebar is hidden, then its display is none. So before this, if I run the application now, you'll see a sidebar, so run my app.py well actually you can see it because all of the backgrounds are the same so let's do background is red for now so now the sidebar is here, I hope this wasn't too bright and now what I want to do is, I want to say that if the sidebar is hidden then it displays none so it's no longer visible and now I want to be able to toggle, let's make this brown so it doesn't hurt my eyes I want to be able to toggle the sidebar and so in order to do this I'll set a binding you could do this in any other way you want, maybe a button. And let's say that when I press Ctrl plus S, I will toggle the sidebar. And so my action method action toggle sidebar, what does it do? It takes the it finds the sidebar widget and it toggles the CSS class hidden. So now let's show you what's happening is this working already, yes, so let's move that there, over here, so now I'm going to close my app, I'm going to run it again, and now if I press Control S, and if I press Control S, Control S, Control S, so this toggles the sidebar. Now what I'll do to finish off is I'll remove the brown background, and I'll change the sidebar to include a logging widget, so from textual.widgets import log. Now there's a there's another video that shows you how to do logging. Sorry, let's get rid of those because this is becoming annoying. Okay, so I've I have another video showing how to use the log widget, so for now I'll assume you know how it works. And when I'm composing the sidebar, I want to yield this log. And let's create a helper method. So log to sidebar. This takes a message string and it writes to the log. Right line. And now to show you, to show this in action, what I'll do is I'll take the on decorator here. I'll take a couple of buttons. And now in my main application, I'm going to yield a couple of buttons. The one is going to say yes. The second one is going to say no. And now when the buttons are pressed, pressed, what I'll do is, sorry about that log button press I will use the helper method to log the button presses to the sidebar so now what do we do? we find the sidebar and we log to sidebar the let's say the event the button label for example, so that's a string, oh no, that's a text, so this is now a string, and this should be fine. See, let's run this now. If I toggle my sidebar, it has nothing there, and if I press yes a couple of times and no and yes, now it's logged in there. And I'm looking at this and probably you would want to change the CSS so that the sidebar shows on top of the application and it doesn't push the other things. That's just a matter of setting the layers. So let's do that quickly. So the screen here 
has a couple of layers, and that's going to be the sidebar layer and everything else. Actually, I don't think I need to set this. And then let's just say that the sidebar is on the sidebar layer. So this should be better now. So less. Now it shows on top, it doesn't push the buttons. Now it shows a couple of um, log messages. So this is how you can create a toggleable sidebar, and in particular a sidebar that logs messages. I will leave some links below and the link to join our Discord server in case you need any help. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.